What's up, YouTube? Hair Trigger 1983. Sorry I've been away for a while. Been busy with work. Um, but now that I've got a little bit of time, I hope to be putting out some uh, good videos for you over the next couple days. Uh, I've updated my plate carrier, so I'm going to be showing you that tonight. Uh, I've also got a couple new, cool new guns that I want to go over. Um, I think you'll be pretty, pretty happy with those. I know I'm definitely happy having these new firearms in my collection. So um, without further ado, like I said, I'm going to be going over my plate carrier tonight. Um, that was definitely one of the biggest responses of any of the videos that I've had on my channel was that, that, that video of my without rule of law plate carrier video where I kind of showed you how I had things set up and what, what I was running and so on and so forth. Uh, one of the biggest things that I did get hit on or people were, were giving me that constructive criticism in a not so nice manner was that I didn't have a water source. Um, I didn't have an IFAC or a medical kit of any kind. Um, so I've definitely fixed those. I already knew I was short on those, but I was just showing what I had at the time. Uh, I fixed those. In addition, I also have plates now. Um, they're the ceramic plates, but they're plates. I'd like to get uh, the AR500 level three steel plates. Those would be my ideal plates, but for now I'm running the ceramic ones, so it works. So let me grab my plate carrier real quick, and then we'll go over the, the things that I've added, and uh, we'll make another video tomorrow. So as you can see from the magazines up front, I'm now running an AK instead of my AR. I do have that AR that I showed you in my last video, still got it. Still set up pretty much the same way no, no, not really. I think it's pretty much completely different. So I'll show you that one here in a couple days too. Um, but like I said, I'm running the AK. I'm a little bit more familiar with the AK platform than my wife is. So she would be running the AR if things needed to go that way. And I would grab the AK. So I got my AK mags up front. Got pistol mags up here now. I'd be taking my Springfield XD and 9mm with me um, as my backup, primary backup weapon. Um, gives me the highest capacity, it's a 9mm, gives me the highest uh, round capacity with, I think, the XD holds 16 or 17 rounds, yeah, 16 rounds per mag. I've got a total of three magazines for that one, um, so I will be running my XD. Um, so I got those mounted up here, and now I'm going to show you that, that eye pack that I've got. I got this one from Voodoo Tactical. I think I paid somewhere around $60, $65. Pretty good IFAC for the money. Uh, it came in this, this pouch already. Uh, it's got plenty of basic all around uh, medical supplies, general purpose medical supplies. There's bandages with quick, quick clot in them. Uh, it had the medical scissors, tourniquet, some gauze, medical tape, things of that nature. I think it's even got a burn dressing or two in here. So pretty well rounded for the money right out the box. Pretty good setup. So threw that on here real quick, took care of that situation. The other one that I was getting blasted for was not having a water source. Hey, now you're carrying around all this gear, lugging all this extra weight. You're stupid. You're going to get yourself killed because you're going to get dehydrated and die and you're not going to be able to fight so on and so forth. All right, cool. Thanks. Got it. So, fix that one. Now, the way I've got this one set up, it's not ideal. It's not the way I really want it. It's just an extra camelback that I had laying around through the shoulder straps, through the webbing, whatever, just to put it on my back. I'd like to get something a little bit different, but again, it works. It didn't cost me anything, and now I've got water with me. So, I took care of that situation. The other thing was plates. I got plates in here now. Again, ceramic plates, so they really don't have that multi-hit capability like some of the AR-500 armor does, that steel plate. That's what really what I want to get. But I was able to come across these for a decent price, so I got these. Um, I'll probably get another plate carrier with the, the steel plates here in a little while, and if I ever get, a, get my hands on one of those, I'll do a video on that one and show you how I got that one set up too. So, again, 
this way I got things set up now kind of took care of the, some of those shortcomings that were pointed out that I, I already knew were there but got pointed out anyways in my last video so let me know what you think if you have any constructive criticism anything uh, you'd like to add or th suggestions that you might have that would better suit my setup or things that you would change or even just tag me in a video showing me what you got I'd love to see what you guys are running um, and definitely maybe pull some ideas from what you got and change mine up again again always looking for new ideas new ways to make things a little bit better and run a little bit more efficiently I'm definitely no super grunt but um, always always looking for a good setup so again if you have anything to add leave it in the comments below like subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video all right thanks guys